Let's talk about AI and censorship. Let me preface with, I am not an expert on censorship by any means. And I consider these topics to be extremely important and highly complicated. This is especially true given the proliferation of large language models and how they are becoming more and more ingrained in our daily lives. And I've had a couple of viewers reach out to me directly to voice their concerns about publicizing the use of these uncensored large language models. And I appreciate it. And again, this is an incredibly important topic and I'm very open to discussion about it. When I started making videos about artificial intelligence, one of the most common questions from my comments was, is this censored? And what is the censorship? So I started to think about that quite a bit. And what does it mean for an AI model to be censored? And ultimately I did decide to publish videos showing how to use uncensored large language models. And let me talk about all the different angles that I've thought about this from. There are certainly plenty of risks and plenty of benefits associated with unrestricted access to information. So first, let me start with what is artificial intelligence as I'm talking about it today. I'm gonna to be talking about AI as a broad category for all computer systems that would generally perform actions that require human intelligence. And when I'm talking about censorship of AI, I'm talking about restrictions placed on the outputs of these AI systems. So when I say unrestricted AI, I mean that there are no predetermined rules for what the AI can and cannot say. So first, let's talk about the benefits of uncensored AI. Ultimately, AI is just a new delivery method for information. It's taking existing data sets, generally public data sets, and repackaging them and delivering them to end users in a new format. So this question of censorship of data, censorship of information has been around and has been brought up every single time a new distribution method for information has emerged. First and foremost, the most important aspect of unrestricted AI is freedom of information and freedom of speech. These are two incredibly important tenants that I believe in. And since I live in the United States, it is obviously a core tenant of our morals and constitution. Additionally, since we're so early in the scientific research of these large language models, putting restrictions on them now is actually just going to limit scientific research. And now I wanna talk about the data itself. None of this data is new information. By definition, these large language models are trained on existing and generally public open source data sets. But of course, when you have uncensored information, the risk for misuse is going to be there. And that is a concern of mine. And I think there's actually a distinction to be made between using AI for illegal purposes and AI containing information that could be used for illegal purposes. One clear difference is that if AI is used to spread misinformation or disinformation at incredible speeds and volumes, that is very dangerous. But the model itself just being able to answer questions about illegal activities is not nearly as dangerous in my mind. Ultimately, the authors of these AI models, the users of the AI models, the companies that host these AI models all still need to follow all applicable laws. And as you saw in my videos about these models, I blur out any of the information because I am not trying to spread that information itself and I do not encourage or endorse harmful or illegal use of that information. And so again, I put a lot of consideration into whether or not I should publish the videos and actually publicize these uncensored large language models. And again, ultimately I decided to do it. And the scariest question in my mind, after all of the considerations is, who gets to decide what is censored and what is not? Is it the AI companies? Is it individuals? Is it authoritarian governments? In my mind, access to the information trumps all of the potential negative consequences, having this information out there in this specific modality. And I believe education and understanding of these models is incredibly important. We should have these discussions. We shouldn't just censor the models and pretend that this information doesn't exist. Because when we have these discussions, we can come to agreements on what safeguards should be put in place. And so of course, it's a very nuanced topic. There's freedom of speech considerations, there's personal freedom considerations, there's censorship considerations, there's potential risk considerations. And so of course, I wanna promote responsible use of artificial intelligence 
not just the technology itself, but the information inside the technology. So those are my thoughts. I want to hear from you. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I love having these discussions. They're not easy, of course. I personally get uncomfortable talking about this stuff because I don't consider myself to be super eloquent, especially about topics as nuanced and complex as this. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please consider giving a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.